Welcome back guys, um, I'm continuing on with my Path of Exile beta demo, uh, if you've watched the first video, I've just run through some options of the game and a quick little intro onto um, skills and your skill gems, or your, whatever they're called, um, yeah, I'm just going to carry on with this um, this first level. Play through. I may actually speed some of this up just because it's not going to be as exciting just for you guys to watch. Um, I don't really have a lot to explain at the moment. Um, explained a fair bit in that first video. If you haven't watched it, um, there'll be a link where you can uh, go and go and see that first intro video. Um, again, if you've left comments on that first video, I won't have seen it um, just because I'm playing on the free beta weekend. And um, I've only got the rest of today to keep playing this. Um, and then once Beta Weekend is up, I won't have access anymore. So, um, you know, I, I will, once I get Beta access, I'll probably be making some more videos of this. Because um, it, it looks to be a, a fairly fun game. And um, once my mate's back from uh, his holiday as well. He's, I'm sure he's going to be playing it. We may get some multiplayer happening. And, uh, we'll have a look at uh, how multiplayer works. Um, so I'm just going to run around. I'm going to kill a few things. Uh, hopefully get through to the, the first um, little safe haven in this game. Uh, which I have played this a, a little bit tonight. Uh, just to get through that already. So I know kind of know roughly what's in store for me up ahead. Um, I'll just let you guys watch along and enjoy. Um, apologies if you can hear some whistles and some cheering and whatnot going on in the background. Um, the Olympics is on at the moment and I've just got the telly on in the background just so I can watch it while I'm playing. Um, Aussies are playing uh, men's water polo at the moment, unfortunately. They are down 2-0 to Italy at the moment. Hopefully they can pull something out. Uh, I'm just going to kill this dude. Hillock. He's got additional life. This is the first boss fight. Look at all the bits sticking out of him. He's got a sword. He's got some arrows sticking out. So he's a fairly tough character. No match for the Knights of Nih. Alright, let's go. Oh, got him. And he dropped some loot. Good thing about action RPGs is lots of loot. And you can see here, I've just pressed the Alt key again. It shows you that pickup key. And you can see uh, there's a skill gem. And there's some blue items and some white items. So I'm just going to go pick them all up. Um, just because, it, you know, it's early on in the game. I don't have a lot at the moment. Um... I did explain in that first video uh, something that I quite liked about this game was that if you've got open item slots, it will auto assign when you pick up if you know if you pick up a compatible item. So picked up that headpiece and it's automatically put it on. I put on these gloves automatically. Um, if you pick something up that's better than it, it won't swap it out automatically. You have to do that yourself, um, which is you know, that's fairly standard. Uh, it's just something to keep in mind if you are expecting it to to swap in interestingly it hasn't put the shield in for me maybe because it's an energy shield it's not a typical shield for this character uh, it is a one-handed mace so i should actually be using shield right hmm. okay i can't use it actually that's why it's a headpiece <laughs> This is something different in this game as well. You can get items that have this energy shield rather than having armor. See, the, the rusted cusk has armor of eight, whereas the vine circlet has an energy shield of seven. And you can see around the health bar here, um, the little blue circle around the outside, uh, that's the energy shield. You can see it's seven of seven. So that will take some hits rather than, um, you know, taking it off my health. It will take seven hits off that first and then it will come off my health. Um, depends on how you want to play it really. Uh, you might find 
And if we bring up the character screen, you can see offense. Uh, oh, sorry, the Credible Hulk. <laughs> I said the Knights of Knee earlier. Um, it's one of my other characters. Um, so let's have a look here. We've got offense. You've got DPS there. Chance to hit. Attacks per second. Um, with different weapons, you might have um, different types of damage. So this Driftwood Club has just got 20% increased stun duration on enemies. And you can see down the bottom here, it's got stun duration increased 20%. If I swap that out and put in this Driftwood Scepter, you can see that's all changed. Oops. Um, darn it. Okay, so over here, the offense panel has changed just because the different weapon has some different abilities on it. I'm going to pop that back in um, because let's just have a look at DPS. Yeah, it's slightly better with the club. Let's try this one. Same again. Yeah, nothing too exciting here. Now these red items, these are unidentified. Now I do have uh, these scroll scrolls of wisdom these identify items so what I can do here is I right click on the scroll left click on the item and it identifies it so now I could use that if I wanted to um, the wand of the Inuit mm. that's probably more useful for a um, the magic character see it's plus 11% increased spell damage um, I don't think that's going to be useful for a me melee character Let's go to boots. Let's just identify these items and we'll have a look at them. So we got not wearing any at the moment, so let's just whack them on. Oh, excellent. Increases life and more energy shield. So if I put on this vine circlet, you can see now its shield is 11. I might just put the helmet back on just because. Uh, what else do we get here? Another vine, another wand. Don't really need that. Um, at 24, 11 strength and plus 10 to armor. I'm using that. Um, defense. All right. Defense pain. Similar to the offense pain, obviously, but for defense, and you can see we've got armor, estimated physical damage reduction, evasion rating, chance to evade, blah, blah, blah. Um, again, very easy for you to swap items in and out and see which is better. All right. And one last thing. I've just picked up that extra skill gem. Uh, it's another green one, so well, it's a green one. Sorry, so I haven't assigned any green items yet. Now, another cool thing about these, which I didn't explain before, um, you may have noticed I only had a weapon that had sockets in it, so that's why that red, the heavy strike gem went into my weapon socket, even though it was a uh, it was a, an attack skill. It doesn't have to go into a weapon slot. Um, fortunately I don't have any items with a red socket just to show you that it still works however this one here elemental hit a standard attack with any weapon that adds damage of random element um, so I can assign this to any item that has a green socket and I will get that skill so let's put it in the gloves here and again you'll see it's auto assigned it to the middle mouse button and just to demonstrate that see it's using up uh, mana as I attack uh, and it's regenerating which is nice all right so let's close the inventory panel here I've killed the boss I should be able to get into town now into this little safe haven this dude's gonna open the door for me um, something that I may actually send this as a, a bug report or you know just a something that would be nice is there's no indication that this is actually a little portal until you, you mouse over it. Um, it can be a little bit confusing in later stages. That's fairly obvious because the guy opened the door for me, so yes, I'll have to click in there to go through. But if you're standing back here, it just looks like you could walk through there. So I can be standing here and, hey, I can't walk through the door. What's going on? Uh, you'll need to actually click on that item there, you know, on, on the, the door or the portal or whatever to actually go through it. it needs to have some sort of glow or you know like Diablo has there's a you know the yellow glowy thing to go through um, now I can't go back here 
So that's the, the first thing is done. Uh, I'm now into the shore encampment and here you can see the multiplayer element of this game. These characters here are other people that are playing. Um, I haven't yet seen any in the actual game and that's just because when you're out it's your own instance. Um, but in this area, this there's no fighting going on here, I can't even attack. Um, so yeah, as you can see who, who else is on this server. A uh, quick rundown of the camp. Now I've got here, um, over here we've got a waypoint. Again, they need to be doing, I don't know if this is my video card or if it's this is just the um, stage that the game is at. That would probably be a, a nice glow effect rather than just turning the whole thing white. Similar thing to the doorway, it, it just doesn't look nice at the moment, um, but I'm sure that's something they're working on. Uh, we have a stash over here, which is, it's a shared stash between your characters. So you can, you can see I've played this a little bit before today, um, got a few items in here already. Uh, I can move any of the items out of my inventory into the stash and vice versa. Um, none of this stuff's really worth keeping, so I'm just going to sell it. Um, again, these guys here with the exclamation marks, they've, they want to speak to me. They've got some items, you know, some quests or whatever. Um, so I'm not going to read these. I'm not going to leave these up for you guys to read. If you want, you can pause the video. You can read it. Um, but, you know, once you start playing, I'm sure you'll be doing that yourself anyway. Nessa, I can purchase and sell items through Nessa. Um, she's the uh, one I've spoken to to finish the first quest. Um, best all here, he's just got some stuff to talk about, nothing really exciting. No quest at the moment. Um, oh sorry, he has given me a quest, find the medicine chest on Tidal Island. Um, and again, if, if you skip through it and you miss something, you can go back through his um, discussion things here and you can see that uh, that last message telling you about the quest that we just got um, and he'll tell you more information here as well so he'll say some stuff about Nessa and blah 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 um, another dude over here Tuckley um, he is giving me a reward thank you very much now um you see those skill gems that I picked up, they were just random drops. Um, the first one I think is going to be the same every time you play, just because it drops from that first uh, that first creature. So you'll always pick up a weapon, you'll always pick up a skill gem to start with, and I'm not sure if it's going to be the same skill, but um, you're going to start with one of those. Now you can see here, um, just being red, it's not they're not all heavy strike, and the green ones are not all elemental hits. Um, We've got Ground Slam and Cleave. There's two more skills there, so I, I get to choose one of these. Uh, and Dual Strike is the other one. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with Ground Strike. And I've got nowhere to put it right now. And Tarkley, again, I can purchase and sell items. Uh, I'm going to sell off all of these... Hmm, yeah, all of these armor pieces and wands. Uh, you can also shift click in this screen, in the cell window, you can shift click to move an item straight from your inventory uh, across to the cell window. I don't need that life flask, I don't need any of those, they're all useless. Now you can see the, um, there's no gold. I don't know if you've noticed yet, there hasn't been any gold drops from any of the monsters. Um, the currency in this game, uh, what you get here in this cell window, you can see I've got three things here. I've got alteration shards with a stack of 20 alteration shards will actually become an orb of alteration, uh, which I don't have. I've got an orb of chance, which is kind of cool. Uh, there's also the scroll fragments. Um, <laughs> some uh, chat going on here I don't know why they're speaking to me that's not in the public chat anyway um, 
So yeah, scroll fragments, a stack of five fragments become a scroll of wisdom. Now you see I'm lucky enough to have got enough to make a scroll of wisdom. So that automatically upgrades when I get five to a scroll of wisdom. Um, so I'm just going to accept that. Um, I could have gone over here to see if Nessa will give me anything different for those items, but I can't be bothered. Now to purchase items, you will need to have some of that so-called currency. So if we have a look at this chain belt, I need to have two scrolls of wisdom to purchase that belt. Uh, they're all the same, two wisdom scrolls. Uh, what was that there? The ring of the whelping. Uh, it needs to have an orb of transmutation. Now I don't have any of those. I don't have any, any of the things that make it either. Um, and yeah, there you go. There's an orb of transmutation. I need to have seven portal scrolls to purchase one. Yeah. Um, just going to close that. Uh, these these um, NPCs are going to have different items. So Tarkley, he has got more weapons and shields, uh, armor pieces and whatnot. Whereas Nessa has, what does she have? She has a few rings and belts, um, potions and amulets. Um, I guess she's a she's more of a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> um, so let's see what's in my stash. I've got augmentation orbs, I've got transmutation orb, alteration. And let's have a look at these. So augmentation, it will enchant a magic item with a new random property. So magic items were the blue items, like my shoes here. You can see it's got plus 12 to maximum life and 11% lightning resistance. If I used the augmentation on there, it will uh, um, uh, add a new... Uh, random property. Now it also says there magic items can have up to two random properties. So I'm guessing if I use that, it will drop one of these and add a new one. Um, we'll test that in a moment. Transmutation will upgrade a normal item to a magic item, which is kind of nice. So I could, if I wanted to, transmute my Driftwood Club here to a magic uh, item, which will then have two random properties. Um, the alteration reforges a magic item with new random properties. Cool, we'll try that in a minute as well. And Orb of Chance upgrades a normal item to a random rarity. Okay, so we'll test that out and see how we go. Let's just stack this here. Stack this here. I've also got Armor as Scrap, which improves the quality of an armor. <laughs> Good English. Um, Improves the quality of an armor piece. So, if we look at, um, let's see, none of these have it. Let's just get out and carry on with the game here. I'm going to bring up the um, map. I can't remember what the key is for that. Um, world panel, you. So the world panel here. Uh, this actually shows you current quests and completed quests so current quest is this mercy mission and where it is the question mark here that's where it is that's where I need to go to to do this um, this quest this one's completed this is enemy at the gate that's the killing hillock um, to get into uh, this shore encampment where I am at the moment okay so uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut the video out just here and I will pick up in the next video. I will actually continue on with that mission. So with the Mercy mission, we're going to go and try and find that medicine kit out on uh, the, what was it called? Tidal Island. Alrighty. Thanks again, guys. Um, again, my very first video series here. Um, please leave it in comments below. Um, if you like the video, subscribe. Um, I kick myself for saying that because I always watch these videos and people say, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. Obviously, you guys know how to use YouTube. You know what you're going to do if you like videos. Um, I'm going to be making more of these as we go. Um, and if I do get beta access, you'll be seeing a lot more of uh, videos of Path of Exile. So thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed.